Hello everyone. Today let us try to understand what are all the problems a patient with PCOD can have. Um, once diagnosed as PCOD, uh, she is a PCOD lifelong. And she, apart from having the period problem, she can have lifelong, uh, long-term uh, health risk and uh, implications. So one of the most important a common a problem a patient with PCOD can have is irregular periods. So apart from that irregular periods, she can have infertility problem then she can have risk of increased risk of endometrial hyperplasia and endometrial cancer she can have the risk even if she becomes pregnant when compared to patients who are not pcod she can have uh, complications in pregnancy then she can have high risk of diabetes high risk of cardiovascular diseases then high risk of high uh, hyperlipidemia or uh, excessive cholesterol in the body and uh, and also she can have um, the, all these problems also can affect her, her quality of life definitely all these problems together they can any woman with pcod can have prob, uh, can affect the quality of life so let us try to understand uh, all the problems uh, one by one so why why there is irregular periods in a patient with pcod so um, uh, I have mentioned in my last video, previous videos about the normal menstrual cycle. If you have watched those videos, you, you would have understand that in a normal menstrual cycle, on day 14 of the cycle, there is a sudden increase or surge in the levels of LH hormone, that is luteinizing hormone, and that hormone drops. So this is this is called as LH surge. So when there is LH surge, that is the time when the egg uh, that is the time when the egg get uh, gets released so this is this happens in a normal menstrual cycle where all the hormones are balanced but in pcod there is hormone as i told you earlier there is hormonal imbalance so when the levels of insulin is increased that is hyperinsulinemia that will of a, in turn increases the secretion of luteinizing hormone that is lh so throughout the cycle there is an uh, increase and sustain increased levels of luteinizing hormone levels in, in patients with PCOD. So there is no LH surge. So when there is no LH surge, the egg doesn't get released. The other thing is because of the sustained increase in the levels of the LH hormones in the ovary that in turn um, uh, increases the production of uh, androgen hormones and testosterone. So when these androgen hormones within the ovary is increased, that affects the normal growth and maturation of the follicles and that affects the growth of the eggs inside those follicles. So it means the, the growth of these eggs are not complete. So they are at that so that affects the quality of the eggs also. So once the uh, uh, quality of the eggs are affected, uh, the, the quality of the egg is also affected and also it is not uh, released. So those eggs gets collected within the ovary itself and in the ultrasound, these small, 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 small follicles are seen as tiny, uh, dark, black colored uh, follicles that is what they, which are arranged in a necklace pattern. So this kind of appearance in the ultrasound we call it as polycystic ovary so one more thing which i want to mention here you make things clear here is you should know that the polycystic ovary and the ovarian cyst are different so we see lots of patients who come to us when they have polys when they are diagnosed with pcod they come and say that the doctor have told me that i have cyst ovarian cyst so it means according to them it is polycystic ovary but polycystic ovary is different from ovarian cyst so whatever whatever i told you now the necklace pattern arrangement of these uh, uh, follicles is called as polycystic ovary in that one there is no separate cyst in the ovary but in a ovarian cyst you see a separate growth of a cyst which may be three four centimeters five centimeters sometimes even ten centimeters which is called as ovarian cyst so ovarian cyst is different and polycystic ovary is different so what happens when the egg doesn't get released in a normal cycle to get the periods we need to have the egg released and then the effect of the progesterone and after 14 days you get the normal periods so here the egg doesn't get released so you don't get periods um regularly so you may get your periods once in three months or once in four months but what is the reason why you get periods after three months or four months is once there is no release of the egg 
there is no progesterone hormone so there is unopposed action of estrogen hormone so this increases the thickness of the endometrium so it builds up builds up builds up and becomes so thick that it cannot hold it anymore so then what happens the endometrium breaks down and it comes out as the um, breakthrough bleed we call it as breakthrough bleeding so since the endometrial thickness is uh, more in a patients with pcod what happens even the bleeding will be heavy so even if we get period, periods will be irregular and also the, the bleeding which you get will be heavy so this is uh, this is we call it as an ovulatory bleeding because there is no ovulation in this cycle we call it as an ovulatory bleeding and that will be heavy so this is one of the problem you will have in patients with pcod that is irregular periods and whenever you have bleeding it will be heavy so what are the other problems you can have is infertility because one of the thing is you don't have um uh, ovulation there so it's uh, the chances of infertility is very high and also even the quality of the eggs which are there in pcod are, are very poor quality eggs so that also delays the conception so these are the reasons for infertility in and also the endometrial quality of the endometrium which needs to receive the embryo after fertilization that embryo in endometrial receptivity is also poor and also the quality of the endometrium is also poor in patients with pcod and these are the reasons for infertility and sometimes in 70 percent of the psych, uh, patients in pcod there will be irregular periods and annulation sometimes in 30 30 to 32 percent of the time times there may be ovulation and sometimes uh, the patients may conceive spontaneously and and we have seen many patients because the periods are ir irregular they don't even know when they ovulate so and they don't even know when they conceive so many of many times patients they will neglect that okay my periods are ir irregular and they will not be expecting the pregnancy so this unexpected pregnancies are also common are also not common but can happen it's not uh, impossible it can happen in patients with pcod so these are all some of the uh, common problems in patients with pcod i think for today this is enough in my next video we'll talk about other problems till then take care bye if you like these videos please like comment and share and for more updates on women's health please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell